It stands to reason that with the increase in internet usage, online fraud would also increase. But as Teresa Lalonde explains, the scale of that increase may surprise you. The numbers are alarming. A 77% rise in internet scams since 2005. 40,000 complaints last year alone and $59 million in losses. These scams aren't coming in as random emails to your junk category. They're crafted by people who get to know you online. They know whether you have asthma or diabetes. They know the names of your friends and their email addresses. People who have fallen victim to these things need to be reassured that the scams are very sophisticated, crafted specifically for them. If you've put your resume on a standard job seeking site, you could be a target. If you've talked about weight loss or diabetes on your Facebook status update or Twitter feed, that information could be used to sell you bogus cures. And watch for investment opportunities looking like they're from people you know, but they aren't. There is a scam for everyone. Top frauds include job scams, health claim scams, fake business opportunities, and purchasing scams. If you're involved with a small and medium-sized enterprise, know that you will be called and you'll be targeted for to pay a fake invoice, to purchase uh, to purchase online advertising. Now, besides ditching the smartphone, unplugging the computer and going back to the days of snail mail, what can you do? Essentially question everything you receive online. Don't click on links unless you really know who they're from. And don't get sucked into what looks like a great job or deal. The Competition Bureau website has more information on that. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.